guys, my name is Tessa Canzona and I'm a massage therapist and yoga teacher here in Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to be doing a um, just general massage for Karina's um, upper chest, back, neck area. And we're going to end with some scalp. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, whenever someone is face up like this, I like to start by pressing the shoulder joints in here. It just um, can right away just bring some relief and get everything a little more open. And it's a nice way to just um, introduce contact with your client if you're a massage therapist watching this video. So I like to just place the heel of my hand on my palm and I'm just gonna press. And this is a great way for you to get more comfortable with your own body um, and just how you're doing the massage. So really rooting down through my feet as I press and just begin to open everything a little more. And most people really like this, just this pressure. And just, yeah, getting these shoulder joints to open and roll back. Um, especially when people have a desk job or are sitting a lot, these shoulder joints can be really tight and rounding forward, which is what we want to get rid of. So, getting those shoulder joints to open. And usually before I start with the neck, I work on these pectoral muscles in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna get some oil on my hands. And so you wanna start um, these pectoral muscles. You want to um, just start, um, get that sensitivity of where the muscles are in the chest. And you're just gonna start to slowly work your way down. And this is just one way to work on the pectoral muscles. There's a few different ways. So just pressing, going all the way down. And there tends to be a little more sensitivity when you get to the top part in here. So you might wanna just ease up a bit if your client isn't used to deeper pressure, firmer pressure. So just, and sometimes you'll feel um, your finger catch on um, part of that muscle. There can be muscle fiber that's just tight that needs a little more attention. So I'll go back to that place and just take a little more time. And just working my way down. And just breathing. And so I'll usually start um, on the outside more like this, and I'll begin to work my way in towards the center of the chest more, and just work my way down, just nice and slow. And again, if you feel a spot that's tight, you can just hold it there for a minute and really take your time. And I'm starting to kind of round my upper back a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of focus on myself too. And yeah, it's a little tight in there. And finally, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this neck so you can just start to bring your fingers up the neck. So you're probably gonna need to get more oil. And you don't wanna just saturate your client with oil, just use the right amount. And sometimes if there's too much, I'll just do a little bit of arm. And so I'll start on the back of the neck, that upper trap area, and just begin to press up and towards me and then begin to work along the sides more getting into the suboccipitals the base of the neck and into those scalenes and really just taking my time and feeling what's going on with Karina's muscles And it's the same thing, just like in the pectorals, if you feel some tension, you can hold it for a minute. And you can just, it's very subtle, but you can begin to press a little bit more 
from right to left, just bringing yourself up the neck. So before I touch Karina's hair, I usually rub in oil just so I don't get oil all over her hair and face. And you can even wipe it on this sheet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get into Karina's occipital muscles a little bit. This is great um, for relieving just general stress and tension in the neck and head. So you're just gonna do little circles where the neck meets the head, the base of the skull. So you can start at the center and then just begin to work your way out a little bit. And this is definitely more gentle than it will be in a minute or so. So just warming up these occipitals and the suboccipitals right below, just warming everything up. And this also gives you a chance to just, um, you know, be more aware of what's going on with Karina. Um, before you just dig in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this side actually. So um, it's a lot easier to get into the occipital muscles when the head is turned like this. It's a lot harder to do detailed work when um, her face is up. So I like to start again about the center of the skull right in here and you're just going to work your way around that ridge, that occipital ridge. So how's that pressure feel? So I talk a lot in my videos, my massage videos about just doing little circles, little tiny circles, no matter what it is. Um, sometimes it's just a little much for the client if you just hold it and don't do anything. Um, so I do just really small circles. And I am actually using these two fingers as I do this. And sometimes I'll use my thumb, but I'm not going to get into that today. I'm just going to do little circles, and Karina's occipitals are fairly tight, so I'm just going to take a little more time with this. Doing little circle, and you can come all the way in towards that ear. And I know for me, um, you know, being aware of where the occipitals actually were, it took a little time. So it just takes practice. And you're gonna bring your fingers in all the way towards the ear. And again, just little circles. And I'm gonna move a little quicker, but I'm gonna do the same thing. And so with this hand, I'm just supporting her head so that it's a little, um, it just stays in place more. And the one thing you have to be um, careful of when you're doing this kind of work is that you're not just forgetting about your body, what you're doing. So really be aware of keeping your chest open. And it's a constant practice for me. I'm always reminding myself to not tense my upper body. So normally I would do this on the other side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into the rest of the neck. So once you finish with that occipital work, we're gonna get into the scalenes in here. Um, we're gonna get into the upper trap a little bit more in here. So without um, losing contact with your client, just gonna get a little bit of oil. Sometimes um, if you get too much, you can just rub a little bit on your arm. And it's definitely not a good feeling to um, just be drenched with oil at the end of your massage. So really be aware of using just enough. So what you're going to do is I'm applying the oil evenly and I'm also starting to just warm up these muscles. So I'm moving away and then up and in. So I'm starting to warm up the scalene muscles right in here as I press away. And I'm also bringing that shoulder away from the ear and then coming up the back of the neck into that upper trap a little bit more. And you wanna do that just a few times. And eventually, you're gonna to start to just bring your, you're gonna use three or four fingers depending on how big your hands are. 
you're just gonna start to bring your fingers down and just pay attention sometimes um, the joints in the top part of your finger can get kind of sore so um, if you need to take a break you can even shake out your hand a little bit and just get back to it and when I first was getting started with massage I would move from side to side a little bit more just for my fingers sake but you definitely build up strength over time so just nice and slow really following the muscle down the neck and you want to be a little careful just like in the pectorals when you get towards the bottom you want to ease up a little bit there's more sensitivity down there so a little bit firmer up here and then just a little bit lighter as you go down. And I'll usually do that. If someone isn't ready for um, a little bit deeper, I'll stick with that. But if um, the client would like deeper, which Karina would like, um, I'm just going to use my thumb. So you're going to just slide your hand right under. and. Not all therapists do this. I like to angle myself at the side of the table. And you're just going to start, I'll start with the suboccipitals up here and I'll just begin to apply pressure. And I definitely talk in these videos, you wanna keep your thumb straight. Um, if it bends a little bit from side to side, it's fine. But you don't wanna be using your thumb. You're actually using the strength from your arm through your thumb as you do this more than anything. So that angle can really help. And can do more detailed work with your thumb when you're doing this. So just pressing, going all the way down, moving through that suboccipital in there. And her neck is definitely a little bit tight. Does that pressure feel okay? You can even do some trigger point in here. So if you feel the muscle really tight in a certain area, you can just hold for say 10 seconds. And when you're doing trigger point, it's a chance for you to just remind yourself to breathe and be aware of your body and then moving right through that. And moving into the scaling muscles that support the head. So I'm just pressing nice and slow. And again, applying a little bit less pressure at the base, the bottom. So nice and slow. And with this more detailed work, you definitely just need to be mindful of what you're doing. So pressing. And just one more. And you can end this side with how you started. So really pressing that shoulder away, coming up into the upper trap. And we are done with this side. And then you can go ahead and even do just a small stretch for the neck. So you can just bring the head up like this. You're gonna support the head like this and to stimulate the connective tissue along the um, upper neck you can even just bring your so it's going to be your forefinger and this middle finger and you're going to follow along the spine and you're just going to stimulate that connective tissue along the spine and the neck and you're getting into that upper trap a little bit too and you're just supporting the head with the other hand back down. So we're going to go ahead and um, finish up this part of the massage with scalp. So this is my favorite way to do scalp is with someone face up. You can also do it with your client face down. So you're basically going to use all your fingers and you're just doing little circles. So I like to get into both sides of the, the scalp 
just little circles. And don't be afraid to really apply pressure here. Little circles. You don't want to stay in one spot for too long. You want to keep moving around. And usually someone um, that wants scalp, you need to get them to take their hair down so that the hair doesn't pull. They're doing this. Just little circles. And really take in your time. So what I'm doing with my thumbs, you can actually use them as leverage. So with my thumbs, I'm actually pressing just slightly. And I'm using that to kind of steady my hands as I do these small circles. And sometimes you'll feel a little bit more tension in the temples right in here and you can just spend a little more time. Sometimes I'll actually just hold and give them a chance to really release. And this actually feels really good if you bring your forefinger and middle finger above the ear and the um, this finger below and you can just kind of massage. The ears are a really sensitive area and it can be really, really relaxing if somebody's stressed. So just pulling up and sometimes I'll go back into the temple and just really might even press again. So where the hairline ends, that's a really um, nice place to do scalp. It usually feels really good. I'll definitely finish off with just some small circles. And again with scalp, don't be afraid to apply some pressure. If you do it too light, um, it doesn't always feel as good. Some people prefer that. I found that people really like the firmer pressure. And just small circles. Be sure that you're really paying attention to what you're doing, not thinking about dinner, anything like that. And you can finish by, so we don't realize how much tension we store in our um, forehead. This is a great way to just relieve the tension. So I'm gonna press in towards the nose and I'm gonna go all the way down to the bridge of the nose. And just coming back up, moving my way out towards the temples and just pressing and holding. And be sure that you're not tensing your shoulders. I'm gonna stay relaxed one more time. And this time I'm actually going to bring my thumbs right above the eyebrows. That's a great spot to press and move down and back to the temples and down. And that is it for this massage. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe down below. and. If you'd like to get a massage from me, I work at a chiropractic office in South Austin called Lifetime Spines, and I would love to work on you. So um, look me up. There's a link down below, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.